Good morning, you guys. Luke Swanson from Living the Dream Guide Service. Today's video, we are talking about casting big, musky flies, efficient and effective. All right, so let's show you guys this here real quick. I'm gonna do it in real time, then I'm gonna slow down and talk about it. You get done with your figure eight, you go to recast it again, and you're out. It is that quick and that easy. So let's talk about what I just did there, guys. When you go in on your back cast, you are looking to get about 20 feet behind you. Once you get 20 feet behind you, you're pointing your rod right at the fly. Your line's in the water, everything's in the water. You're slowly coming up, and when you get to the fly, you're taking your bottom hand here and coming forward. Your top hand is basically just to guide you and keep line control going. So, drop it back. Line and fly are on the water, lift up. Once you get to the fly, you're taking the bottom hand and you're shooting it. So, let's get it in again. I'll slow down, do it, and then we'll do it in real time again. Drop back, pause, come forward. And when I come forward, I'm pointing right at where I wanna go. So if there's a log jam, if there's a big rock, weed pile, anything like that, bring it back pause come forward i got on the fly right now now i bring it forward so let's get it in again show you guys you guys can use this in lakes rivers reservoirs all of it doesn't matter the size of water you are fishing this is just going to make it easier faster and more efficient and keep your fly in the water to give you a better chance of catching fish so here we go back that's the speed we're looking for right there guys doesn't have to be very long. You just want to make sure that fly and that line are in the water behind you to load up your rod. So one more time here. Pause, cast out. And I like to use this hand to keep line control out. So this is with two-handed rod from Thorn Brothers, the custom fly rod that they build. Now I'm gonna show you guys what a single-handed rod looks like. All right, so the single-handed rod I'm throwing today is the Sage Payload Fly Rod. You can run this as a double-handed rod because it's got the longer butt on the back, but I like running a little bit smaller flies with this rod and it does really well single-hand casting it. So here we go. Get done with your figure eight. Get my fly in here. Get your figure eight done. I'm throwing a cast behind. And all you're doing, I like to keep this right on my forearm, the rod, and you come forward, just like that. So I'm gonna drop back again, pause, lift up, just got to my fly, now I'm bringing it forward. So you can do this with a 10 weight, 11 weight, 12 weight, anything that's a single-handed casting rod, you can still water load and still be super effective with. So here we go again. Get your figure eight done, no fish there. Throw one back, pause, come forward. You can do the same thing on your opposite side now. And still keep that forearm, that rod right on your forearm. Drop back, pause, come forward. Just like that. Let me show you guys again here. Get your fly in. Get a nice figure eight in, make sure there's no fish. All right, toss one back and forward. Drop back, pause come forward boom it's out there there was a 50 foot cast with a single-handed 11 weight water loading and it took only a few seconds so add this into your arsenal guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the video and i'll have more tips and tricks coming up add this to your fall arsenal hopefully you can stick that fish of a lifetime